Hello friends, welcome to Blog Bites. We all know that it is still very early days for mainstream crypto adoption. The reasons for this range from lack of understanding, volatility in token prices, little to no regulations, and money lost in various attacks and hacks we all see in the news. Compared to Web2, Web3 appears to be more like the Wild West, where there is no rule of law. Although all of these are valid reasons, there is one other reason preventing user adoption, and it is user experience. Unlike Web2, where you can go to a website, create an account, and proceed, in Web3, things are a bit more complicated. Account abstraction is a concept that will allow Web3 applications to provide the same user experience as Web2. Let's see how it works. Starting with wallets. A wallet is software with which users buy and sell crypto assets on blockchain. It is also where all assets linked to the user are stored. There are two main types of wallets, depending on who controls the assets. First, custodial wallets. Custodial wallets are wallets you get in centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Binance. In these types type of wallets, you trade away the custody of your assets for ease of use. But this comes at a price. We witnessed the fall of centralized exchanges this year, be it Celsius, Voyager, or FTX. Centralized exchanges have been the main reason for users losing billions of dollars worth of crypto assets. So although custodial wallets might be the easiest, they are the least desirable for users. The second type of wallet is self-custody or non-custody wallet. These are wallets that allow users to control their assets. It is more like a physical wallet which you carry and also own the money in it. Common examples include Metamask, Argent or Exodus and hardware wallets like Ledger and Trezor. The easiest way for anybody to experience crypto is to buy tokens listed on centralized exchanges. Here users create an account linked to a custodial wallet into which they pull funds through an on-ramp interfaced with their bank account or credit card. Whereas with self-custody wallets, a user must go through a multi-step process of creating an account at the end of which they get something called a seed phrase. A seed phrase is a 12-word representation of your private key, which is like the password. But unlike a password, a seed phrase is hard to remember, so it needs to be saved in a secure location. If you lose this seed phrase, it can never be recovered back and you end up losing all the assets in your wallet. This is the biggest issue with self-custody. In Web2, you will always find account recovery mechanisms like forget password or forget account name, but self-custody wallets do not allow for such means because of how they work. And this is where the concept of account abstraction comes in. Account abstraction reduces the complexity of self-custody wallets by delegating some of the responsibilities to the underlying blockchain. In other words, a wallet better known as externally owned account, according to Ethereum's literature, will instead be implemented as a smart contract on the blockchain itself. Changing a wallet into a smart contract means that it can now be programmed to not, to not need a seed phrase or not sign every single transaction or to have password recovery and much more. As you can see, this is a compelling concept 
and makes the wallet closer to its Web2 counterpart in terms of usability and features. The need for account abstraction has been a topic of discussion within the Ethereum community since 2016. However, it has yet to be implemented at the protocol level because other priorities kept moving it aside. Let's look at some of the critical advantages of account abstraction. Multi-call. Because of the way Ethereum works, every change to the blockchain needs to be explicitly signed or approved by the user. This could quickly become time consuming and frustrating. With account abstraction, multiple transactions can be bundled together and executed in one shot, leading to a one tap user experience. Second, session keys. We have all experienced websites or applications where once you log in, you do not need to, need to log in again until a certain predefined level of inactivity is reached. Something like this can also be implemented using account abstraction and is called session keys. Password recovery. Since blockchains are distributed systems without a centralized authority, who or what can help recover your private key? In such a scenario, social recovery is the way to go. Using social recovery, trusted guardian, guardians like family members can authorize a new key. Using account abstractions, social recovery can easily be programmed into wallets. Multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is becoming more and more prevalent these days. Account abstraction will allow wallets to have multi-factor authentication, where a transaction can only go ahead if certain conditions are met. These are some of the many advantages and use cases account abstraction can help unlock, but there could be many more. But if Ethereum currently does not support account abstraction, are there any wallets currently built with this in mind. Argent Wallet is one such wallet deployed on the ZK Sync layer 2, which has enabled account abstraction. Recently, Visa did a proof of concept with Argent on ZK Sync to check if automated recurring payments or auto payments can be enabled on Ethereum. This is an interesting scenario. On Ethereum, wallets or accounts are designed to only push transactions. If the receiver wants to pull as needed in the case of auto payments, it can only be done with the programmability offered by account abstraction. Visa devised a solution to this problem using delegable accounts, which is an allow list of pre-approved transactions. So when a merchant triggers a payment, the auto payment contract causes the user's account to initiate a push payment. From the tokens perspective, it is like a standard push payment. This is but one example of a real world problem addressed using account abstraction. I agree with the community when it says that smart contract wallets are a big step towards mass adoption as it makes it easy for users to embrace self-custody. Argent and other wallets have already successfully implemented account abstraction and it is only a matter of time we see others do this. The real world application tested by Visa is an indication that enterprises are serious about adopting blockchain tech and are willing to test out novel techniques like account abstraction as they feel their way around this new world of Web3. I hope you like this video. Relevant links are in the description. Consider liking and sharing, and I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Thank you.